Okay, we're going to talk about filling double-sided waxes in a uh, wax fixture today. And the beer, the, the choice, blah, 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 blah. The beer choice today is Great Lakes Brewing Company, Burning River. If you're around Cleveland, you've heard of the Cuyahoga burning. Well, it's true. But it's good beer. So we're going to start the milling machine. I'm going to reposition the camera and we'll get going. Well, the first thing we do, as always, is home the mill. Now we're going to put the milling fixture with the wax in it on side A in the vise. So we need to have a surface to work off of. We're going to digitize the wax surface. So here we go, move the digitizer in position. Get the beer out of the way. And we're going to digitize it. Get this done in place. Now that we've digitized it, we have a known surface to the milling machine. We're going to have to position the cutter to the wax surface. So we'll go to the cutter position. Now we're going to move the cutter down to the wax surface. And we're going to verify that the header is actually on the wax surface. So now, the next thing we do, need to do is initialize the cutter to the mill frame. And here's the limit switch over here. We're going to do that with. There you go. So the cutter has tripped the limit switch and now the computer knows the offset distance between the, the wax surface and the cutter. So whenever we reset the cutter position we know where the wax surface is. So now we're going to go back to the, the cutter start position and we're going to cut a sign in the wax on the side A. This shows the design we're cutting. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to flip it off. We're going to cut this design in two passes. So this is going to take five or ten minutes. Bye. Okay, we're done with the A side text. What we're going to do is flip over the fixture and set up the B side. And we're going to digitize the B side now. Oops. So now the computer will know the height of the B side compared to the height of the A side. So we can offset the cutter frame and the cutter now will be aligned with the B side. So let's go back to the cutter start position now. So 
So now we're going to cut the B side text. Again, we're going to put in some uh, WD 40. And we're going to pause until this is done. So we're coming up the end of the second pass. Get a couple more characters to cut. You can see that uh, I'm really pushing the limits for this wax fixture. The cutter comes up close to the edge of the fixture. That was sort of designed for this job. This has taken long enough that you can actually get this zoomed out. I have a couple of these great beers from the Great Lakes Brewing Company. This one's called Burning River. It's uh, all about the Cuyahoga River burning down when uh, the steel mills were going great in Cleveland. Sort of a part of our heritage. Now we've got all the text cut. We're going to cut the triangles out of the wax. It's called through passes. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause again. See that cutter comes pretty close to the fixture. Can't make the pieces much bigger in this fixture than they are now. Working on the third triangle in the fixture. Getting the <clears throat> fourth triangle. Again, the Fixture is barely large enough to contain this design. It was a little off center once and it started, the cutter started uh, milling a facet on the side of the fixture. Cutting the outside of the fifth triangle. Again, it cutters off across the fixture. Okay, the through pass is done. We're going to home the mill to get the cutter out of the way so I don't stick it in my finger, which I do a lot of times. I'm going to pull the fixture out and see if we can display it better than we did last time. Okay, we've mounted the fixture on the base here. So you can see if we can uh, show how these come apart a little better than last time. Just push on that, it comes right out. There we go, another one. Now there's another one. Another one. Okay, now let's see if we can get the big ones out. I think I'm going to do those by hand. Hold on here. I'm going to take this out. Pull this out. Here we go. Oops. Darn, missed that sucker.
Oh well. If I had done a better job, you could see something like this. How does that look there? Well, that's it for here. Next step is to clean them up in the ultrasonic and, and take a better look at them under a microscope and stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. In the future, I'll be doing videos on the pen style digitizer and uh, grinding carbide cutters on the tag lathe. Bye for now.